week four of drills and chills. So you guys, today's video is going to be full of lots of small shop giveaways. I'll also be announcing the winners of last week's giveaway, which was the Diamond Art Club $50 gift card, as well as another one for a unreleased Halloween diamond painting kit. So um, stay tuned. At the very end, I will be announcing those winners. And at some point during this video, I will be giving you the keyword to have a chance at one of these prizes. Now there are six small shop prizes, which I'll go over for you right now. So first off, we have a pen from Leopard Leatherworks and a tray set from Cat Proof Diamond Painting that we'll be giving away. And then we also have a gift card to Diamond Painting Drills, as well as a gift card to Crafts with Crashly. I've shown you some of the products that they offer for this event. And then there will also be a gift card to Monchery Craft Concepts that has lots of diamond painting stickers, as well as a gift card to Enablers Outpost. So these six prizes. So again, listen <laughs> through this video and I'll give you a keyword to put in the comment down below and um, we will, you'll be entered to win one of these, these gifts. Or, and so, um, and also make sure that you filled out the weekly uh, giveaway event form, which again, you only need to fill out once for the event for both Katie and my channel, but um, you know, it, it works for both of ours, but just to, to give you that heads up. So today's video, I just wanted to do a bit of, since we're coming up to week four, a wrap up of the projects that I've worked on or that I've, I've finished um, to give you guys kind of a bit of a, let's catch up and see where we're all at. Um, again, this, this event is not a race, so don't worry if you haven't finished any. Um, maybe, you know, you're still working on your same project. The project that I have had mainly going in September, I'm still working on and I'll show you guys that project. So what I have going on right now is three finished paintings and two whips. So typically what I do is I have a large painting that's kind of my night painting that I can pull out in the evening and work on. I do diamond paint on just my kitchen table. So I do kind of store my diamond paintings away and then I bring out <laughs> The, you know, the, the one sometimes, the one that I'm working on right now is incredibly large. And so um, it takes up a lot of space on my kitchen table and I just can't have it laying out there, of course. So I usually have a kind of a night painting and then I'll have something during the day that's small, kind of like the ones that are on here. And that's why I finish. I, I can go through a few if I, you know, I finish them because they're small and they're not a ton of work but also they don't take up a ton of space and so if I have them out on either my island or the the, the dinner table <laughs> it's it's fine you know that's not super in the way anyway so I'll just show you guys first off um the very first painting that I finished was this cute little kitty that's all in crystals from crystal canvas art designs and how fun is this it's super cute and just a fun little painting to get you in the spirit of a Halloween. Um, so that is the very first one that I finished. Tons of color blocking. Then I did finish this one, which is the sunflowers. It's called We Are Sun from Diamond Art Club. And this one is an Amazon exclusive. So this one um, you can find on their Amazon storefront, which I can link down below. Of course, I'll link Crystal Canvas Art Designs as well. Um, but this one I finished. I think this one just is <laughs> is so so like it's so sparkly that's the word that i can use just because there's a lot of ab's that are included in it i didn't make any changes in it so it's it's how it's it's charted um with the, the exception of i did run out of a color in the background and so i kind of just like <laughs> just use what I had and I don't think it made much of a difference. So, you know, besides being short about five or six drills, it wasn't even worth contacting customer service for it. I just blended it into the background, but you guys, I think this one is super gorgeous and so sparkly and so fun just for this kind of fall season. I don't know about where you guys live. I know where I live, 
We have pretty distinct four seasons. I would say that's one of the things people say is great about living um, here where I live in Utah in the United States is that we experience all four seasons pretty well. So we are definitely firmly moving into fall here. The leaves are barely beginning to change. There's sunflowers everywhere and it's very fun to just see them. And so having worked on this sunflower painting, just, um, yeah, it's just been really fun to kind of bring attention to the sunflowers that are out and about everywhere as well. So there's that one. And then we have got Harry Potter. This one is one of their other Amazon exclusives. This one's been out for a while and I actually have had this one for a while. So I had worked a tiny bit on it and then put it aside and I pulled it out and just kind of sped through it. In fact, I used the Diamond Art Club new multi-placers that they have an eight, 10, and 12. And I have a separate video on that if you'd like to go check that out on those. But they helped me work on this one and get it done so fast with all the color blocking and yes. So um, I did make a few changes on this one. I kind of changed how the word this, this H, there was some stuff that I thought was a little funky going on and made it hard to read. So I did kind of clean that up. And then this line right here was actually an orange and I put in a yellow AB. And then the same thing, that orange was gonna be right here in the scarves. And of course, so I, I switched the yellows in there. And then all of the outlining and the cloaks and like the faces were gonna be a 3371 which is a very dark brown and I like my outlines to be in black that's just me so I did switch that all out for 310 and I really do like how it ended up um, I think that yeah I just I had I had fun with this one and of course this one has a lot of ABs in it already charted I mean this this border is a uh, like a, almost a pink AB and then you've got these red ABs on the scarves. All of these little dots here are that AB as well as the name written on there. And then of course I did add the yellow ones but alone this one, if it just with the stuff that came with the kit has so much sparkle to it. So moving on to my two whips at the moment, I have this sunflower one <laughs> again it's all about the sunflowers this year i just i can't tell you why maybe it's been on the brain just because you know like i was saying that <laughs> this this discovery that i had that sunflowers are fall flowers like that never occurred to me they always seem like summer but the more i looked them up and the more i realized that yes they are they are very prevalent in the fall they come out in the fall of sunflowers so i just seem to be attracted to these paintings apparently. So this one is an Amazon exclusive. It's called Pumpkin with Sunflowers. And so it's, it's around and so I've been working on it. It's got these really neat fairy, green fairy dusts in it that I'm really loving. And so um, I did pull this one out because somebody had asked me to how to use the multi-placers on a round diamond painting and kind of give some feedback as far as how that goes. And I, uh, the new Diamond Art Club multi-placers. And I do find that it's a little bit more difficult with rounds, but it's still feasible. And so I've been using it on this kit. And um, yeah, so anyway, like I said, I have a kind of a day painting and a night painting. So this is my one that I kind of have had out during the day. Now let's go to the one that I've had out during the night. Okay, so this is kind of my big piece that I wanted to work on through the event. I have one other that's gonna be like my main it's um, that I'll bring out in October, but this was the one that I wanted to really get done. It's a huge landscape. It's called Canal Home and it's by David McLean. And this one, you guys just, I loved it. It caught my eye. <laughs> right away and I just think it's so beautiful now this one is huge it is gigantic 
I didn't realize I didn't have the plastic cover, so I got a little bit of stick in there. But I've gotten quite a bit done, but I still have a lot more to do. And this is the section that I'm currently working on right now. So this one is one that I'll continue to work on and hopefully I'll be able to finish by the end of the event. Okay, so the keyword for today is going to be painting. That's P-A-I-N-T-I-N-G. <laughs> Please leave that in a comment down below in a sentence, not just the word. But in that sentence, you can tell me what was your favorite diamond painting that I showed you guys today, or you can tell me what is the current diamond painting that you're working on or which diamond painting you're looking forward to working on during this event. And you will be entered into the giveaway of all these small shops. Now let's actually go to the winners from last week. So I'm just gonna put their names up here. And congratulations. Please email me at myemeraldlife at gmail.com if you don't see an email from me. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in another video soon. Bye! Watch me Just follow